It's amazing what you can find at a garage sale. If you want to see what I found, stick around. So we had just finished Pokemon Go raiding for the day. My wife saw a garage sale on the side of the road and said, Hey, I want to stop. I was like, okay, you, that's fine. Go ahead. I wasn't real interested. I was still looking for a shiny Makihito from Pokemon. So I was sitting there playing it, and she and the girls had gone to the garage sale. And I finally finished and said, oh, they're still gone. I'll go ahead and go over there. So I got out of the car, headed over there. And she's like all excited. She's like, hey, hey, I found something that has a cobra symbol on him. I'm like, what? What do you mean? Like, there's something over here. I don't know what it is. It looks like a helicopter or something, but it's got a cobra symbol. I'm like, that can't be really anything worth a whole lot. I mean, I haven't seen G.I. Joe stuff at garage sales in years. I haven't looked real hard, but I haven't seen anything. So I walked over and to see where she, or what she was looking at, and this is what I found right here. A Crimson Command Copter. Came with Tomax and Zamot back in 2004. Uh, it was part of the Valor vs. Venom toy line. And that thing is just... We're going to take this off right now. Because it's trying to whack me here. <laughs> but anyway. That's a pretty cool... This is a repaint of a Night Attack Chopper that came out two years earlier in 2002. In fact, this is date stamp 2002. But I loved that helicopter when I had it. That was one of my favorites. I always wanted to get another one. I thought I'd get the desert camo painted one, but I never had this one. And uh, this is really cool. I mean, it's kind of funky with its uh, weird textures and everything. Anyway, so I got this and thinking, well, that's kind of neat. That's a neat deal. Um, I wasn't expecting anything else. So I kind of pulled it off and kind of give a reference. This was sitting on a top of Lego, a big Lego box. A box is probably two, two and a half feet deep. And almost that square. I mean, it was full of Legos. You could just see them in there. So I set this off to the side and uh, just barely pulled the top layer off. And this thing was here. Another cool vehicle I never had. This is a Cobra Night Adder. And it came with Wild Weasel. And I don't remember what the date is. This is, a, I think, a 2003, and I just tossed off a missile. Oh, 2004 is the date stamp. So we'll put this missile back on. None of these vehicles are complete. They did not have everything, unfortunately. I wasn't lucky, and there was absolutely no figures, which is sad. So I was like, now I'm kind of curious. I was like, we're going to be digging a little bit more here. I got about halfway down through the box and got this thing, or I found this in there. Cobra Hiss. Now, I cannot remember if this is number four. I think it's four. Something tells me it's four. Um... Part of me, something also tells me it actually didn't have a number, that it was, anyway, I'm not going to get into that right now, but Cobra Hiss, you know, the cool, one of the cool ones, boom, that, okay, yeah, that dro drive around like a, I don't know, strange little animal, you know, <laughs> it's definitely not the original Hiss, but uh, it's got some original looking treads on it, but I always liked this Hiss, this was a nice, this was an, a, a good Hiss. Maybe it was number, th no, the repaint 2000 hiss. That was three. So this has to be number four. So I'll put that to the side. Now I'm real curious. You know, there's three vehicles. So I'm digging, I'm pawing my way all the way to the bottom, just kind of looking through everything. And I didn't see this at first because all I saw was that end of it. And if you can identify this at that end, I'm really good at identifying things. But even this kind of threw me off a little bit. I was like, well, the wheels, maybe those are really big Lego wheels. So I decided to pull it out, and this is what popped out. The G.I. Joe Sand Razor. And uh, so, yeah, it's a neat little Jeep. It's, uh, I'd say it was durable enough. It's uh, got the desert camo. For all the people who love the military aspect of G.I. Joe, surely they love this one. Um, but anyway, so this was down there, and that was kind of cool. What do I mean kind of cool? It's really cool. Because, like I said, I haven't seen G.I. Joe stuff at garage sales in I don't know how long. I may start stopping it more. Now, I know this was a fluke, but who knows? Uh, the batteries are not working on this. These are all sound attack based, so they've got the FX. Let's see. Uh, where is it here? Let me pull this out. I don't know if you can see that, but they got that FX symbol right there. And that's where 
like something like this, the sound attack. Things with the sound, there we go. Kind of a gimmicky thing, but you put the weapons, they have the sound attack tabs, you put them in it, and it's supposed to, uh, you push the button, it's supposed to make some noise. And they all have it. Now the Night Adder, it just has a button back here. If I can play that real quick. I'm not sure what that was, if that was this flying by. Hey, that was kind of cool looking on the camera. Anyway, um, I don't know if that's it flying by. It's got a little gun though, that, uh, not a gun, I shouldn't say that, but a handle with a trigger here. And what's that for is, you see that turret there? It makes noise and it wiggles the turret. It's got some play action. And those missiles, they kind of go back and forth, which is kind of funny. I don't know if they're supposed to launch out or it's kind of looks like it's simulating like, you know, some barrel guns of some sort. And anyway, if you look real carefully, I'm going to put this real there. Right up here at the, the end, there's uh, some red lights that pop on. But with my lighting here, I don't know if you can see that or not. But that was neat. The, oh, yeah, there it is. And then the night, not night attack. Whoosh, shush. The Crimson Command Copter also has uh, some handles here. If I pull this down, there. Got this handle here and this handle. So it's almost kind of like a, I don't want to say gun, but it's a play thing. You can grab this side and you grab that side and squeeze it and these missiles will launch and shoot out. But this one makes noise. If I put this blade back on it that I took off because it was trying to whack me, if I squeeze it, it's kind of neat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I liked that. I bought into that gimmick with the night attack chopper. You know, you can hold on to vehicles like with this kind of a, you know, this thing and fly them around like so. But for some reason, this, these handles were really neat to, you could fly in and with this front one, you could pull the trigger and shoot those missiles out. And this one has got the noise. I liked these helicopters. These were neat. I know they weren't the vintage. They weren't the old stuff. But, you know, not everything new was bad. Some of the newer stuff was, was kind of cool. Unfortunately, none of these were complete. So I have to, I have to find a, a few things. Like, I need to find two more blades up here. I need to find the back wings here. Um... I need to find five of these missiles that came with it. And there's a big gun at the bottom. This is the item that had the most missing pieces. So I'm going to tuck this, put this blade back on and hopefully I can find them. Whenever I find all the stuff, come on, there we go. Whenever I find all the stuff, then I will do full reviews of these vehicles. I wasn't expecting to be able to do vehicle reviews for quite some time, so this is kind of exciting. This uh, Night Adder is missing one of these missile segments. It's missing the black missile with the clear casing. That goes down here. And I, these missiles, these black missiles, also fit here in its little uh, weird mouth. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's put that here so you can see that. I don't know. I need a different color background. So I don't know if I need to find another one of these or not. It wouldn't be a bad thing, I guess, to find another one. But as far as I can tell, the missiles are the only thing I'm missing on this. And it, I think it could be complete, which is really neat. Oh, I didn't mention the other couple things that I found. They are making sound attack noise like crazy over here when I bump them. Another thing we found, well, I found, I dug all the way. I started really pull, going through piece by piece almost with this Lego box. And I found the base of a gun station. This came with Dart in 2003, I think. But it has a chair that sits on here and a little missile launcher. And then Dart sits on there and can fire those missiles. So I just grabbed this because why not? It's a part. Maybe I'll be able to find more parts of it or maybe I can trade it with somebody someday. And the last piece was a silver wing. And anyone familiar with the Spy Troops line will recognize this. It's funny. I, I know a lot of parts really well. I saw this. I was like, this is barrel rolls. 
This is his backpack uh, jetpack thing. In 2003, whenever Spy Troops came out, I think it was 2003, whenever. But uh, he came with a jetpack that had two of these wings fit in the middle. And this one has camo on one side, so this is not the original Spy Troops one. This is a repainted one. They came with a later barrel roll. So anyway, yep, it can stay down there. So anyway, that's my quick little video about things that I found at a garage sale today. I was pretty excited. I, it's been a while since I actually had a vehicle. And so to find a few completely random. Oh, the really neat thing was that the guy didn't know how much to charge. They weren't marked. And he's like, what do you think? I'm like, I have no idea. You know, I'm looking at these and they're not... At the time, I didn't know exactly what was missing, but since I've been able to actually sit and look at them for a while, I can identify a lot of what's missing. And I was like, I don't... Hey, the turret comes out. Check that out. <laughs> it's missing a turret. Um, I don't know if that would be considered an escape pod or what. Well, that's kind of funny. I found something out about this. So I didn't know what to say, so I was like... How about five bucks? Maybe. And it was really fascinating. It's one of these guys that, you know, he, and he told me this right out. He was not bashful or shy. He was like, I don't know, you know, with somebody else being interested, all of a sudden I'm interested in these. You know, I might just want to keep them. Like, really? You know, I come here to your garage, so I want to buy something. And you say, I don't know how much. How much is, do you think? And I say, I don't know, five bucks per vehicle, maybe. You know, they don't have figures, they don't have boxes, they don't have blueprints, they don't have, they're not complete, they don't have all their parts. Five bucks? I haven't been searching this stuff up. And he even stands there and opens up eBay on his phone. He's like, well, let me check. He's like, would you say this this one? Because I had already um, referred to the Crimson Copter here. And he's like, oh yeah, Crimson Copter or something. He types that up, he starts looking on eBay. I'm like, really? That's nuts. I mean, I get it if you want to do this beforehand, but not when there's a customer right there. But anyway, that's a, I could go on a little rant about human behavior and all that. But, uh, yeah, five bucks per vehicle. He went ahead and went through with it, and I'm excited. I can't wait. So, as soon as I get these complete, I'll do a review on each of these vehicles. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for joining me on this little video about things I found at a garage sale. Did you have these things? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Leave them a comment down below and let me know what you thought of them. Otherwise, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, please. And if you want to know when more of my videos come out, what doesn't matter what the video is, whether it's a review video, a basic training, you know, introduction to G.I. Joe video, or whatever I come up with, a collectible video, I'm going to just, who knows what I'm going to come up with when. I'm just, I want to throw videos out there, so if you want to be notified, Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon next to it, and you'll be notified every time I put a video up. I'd like to stick to a schedule, but I just may throw things out randomly. I don't know. So bear with me as I'm starting on the YouTube journey. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching if you've watched this long. I'll see you next time.